there's an amazing feeling you get when you hear cranes. They herald our seasons. They take you back in time to their ancient roots. Thousands, tens of thousands of birds take off to the sky. The sound of their wings and their movements, all the rest falls away. It's just you and this landscape. There's probably 400 or more species of birds that use the central flyway, some doing 10,000 miles round trip. It starts out in northern Canada, Alaska, even Siberia, and funnels down to our mid-continent, and then it divides with the Rocky Mountains. The flyway narrows along the channel of the Rio Grande between the tip of the Sandia Mountains near Albuquerque and then Elephant Butte Lake they followed the food. Farming has always been a tradition in the middle of Rio Grande Valley, and it is a benefit to all the wildlife. I really feel my dad and my mom and my great grandparents and the hard work that they have here. We still have a connection that the animals still have a connection to what we're doing here. Bosque del Apache, it's an unusual really rare place that still is mimicking what the river used to do. And it requires a lot of people and a lot of management to try to keep what used to be a constant ebb and flow of the river, creating wetlands and food sources for birds and wildlife. The uniqueness of the valley is also a deep tradition and culture of the Pueblos in New Mexico. Being from Isleta Pueblo, we take pride in our river system. So without literally the mud on the banks of the river, some of our heritage would have been lost. We're in the middle of the Chihuahuan Desert. This is an arid, inhospitable landscape. So it's a refuge for birds, wildlife. It's a refuge for people. It's really taken a community working together and sharing their efforts to support each other. The Friends of the Bosque it started as a grassroots group of people that were really interested in the refuge and loved it and loved what they were working to accomplish. The refuge and the Friends have a great partnership, second to none. In fact, the Friends are pretty much a model for how Friends Group should be supporting our refuges across the country. Who but the Friends could have helped to expand the refuge in a real development of public support. The Friends have brought in so many people to care about this refuge, not just financially, but to give it voice. We started partnering with Bosque del Apache and Soil and Water Conservation Districts, the Save Our Bosque Task Force, working to protect pieces of riparian and farmland a little bit at a time. We've restored almost 3,000 acres in the last 19 years to floatable acres for migratory waterfowl food production. We've laid some groundwork and we really would like to see it expand and grow. My hope is that there'll be more and more people wanting to be part of the team. Well, what is it you guys hope for? Help Do what? kids. Help kids learn more about the Bosque. I think, you know, one of the biggest things is just getting them to appreciate what's in their own backyard. It's amazing how much they pick up and learn from the different rangers that teach us and help support us on our monthly visits to the Bosque del Apache. We are fortunate enough through the Friends of the Bosque that help us out with our bus transportation and Bosque has also supplied journals and colored pencils for the students to record their observations over time. We learn from birds about food stuff. The birds can still teach us how important adaptability is, but how important preservation of essential places are, because we'll lose them and we'll lose us if we don't. When you wake up in the morning, I think if you have a purpose in your life, you don't need an alarm clock. And this is a purpose that people have, and this is the purpose that I have, is to keep this valley green. What happens here will have a ripple effect throughout the West and into Canada. We are just a family working together to protect the nest for future generations of people and wildlife. We're only here for just a short amount of time. And what do we want to leave behind?
50 years is a long time for you to think about, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be 57. You'll be 57? Oh my gosh. You'll probably have gray hair. You'll be older than me. 